Hello and welcome to Zoom In. We've got a new microscope. This is the Modic BA310 Elite Trinocular Microscope. And today I'd like to give you a tour through it. Starting at the back, we've got a nice hefty power cable and we have a mechanism for storing the cable should you choose to add it to the back of the microscope. We also have a removable back panel and a little input for battery power, but the manual really seems to make very little mention of that. On the left-hand side, we've got the coarse focus adjustment, and there's a tension adjustment to allow you to dial in just how tight you want that coarse adjustment to be. We also have a fine focus adjustment, of course. And finally, on the left-hand side, we have the knob for the focusing of the condenser. On the right-hand side, we have the power switch and the rheostat. This large diameter wheel is not a coarse focus, but a stage lock, which you can use to prevent the stage from moving upward. The small diameter wheel is a fine focus knob and is indented with finger positions, and it is placed really nicely next to the actuators for the XY positioning, so you can operate both at the same time. So the ergonomics here are really quite nice. The XY actuators also have tension adjustments, so you can dial in the feel that you prefer. Turning to the light source, we have a three watt LED, and in the housing we have a field diaphragm so we can get cooler illumination. We also have a diffuser in the light housing, which is slightly visible when the scope is set to cooler, so I tend to lower the condenser a bit to get the clearer field. It doesn't really impact the homogeneity of the light, but it does clear the diffuser from the view. Finally, in the light housing, we have a removable ring, and this will allow you to put filters in place. So you just remove the ring, drop your filter in, and then replace the ring, and you have your filter in place. Up from the light source, we have the condenser, and the condenser can be adjusted in the Z dimension using the knob on the left-hand side of the scope, as well as the X and Y dimensions using these levers here. The condenser can be removed by loosening the attachment screw, lowering the condenser, and then pulling straight out. You'll see that the condenser has demarcations for 10x, 40x, 100x, and pH, so the numerical aperture can be adjusted to match the uh, numerical aperture of your objective for optimal illumination. The rotating nose piece is a quintuple nose piece. The scope comes with Modic EC plan objectives that magnify four times, 10 times, 40 times, and 100 times. The numerical apertures are 0 0.1, 0 0.25, 0 0.65, and 1.25 respectively. And that is what you'll see on scopes costing as little as $300. I've removed the 100X lens and currently have the 4, 10, 20, 40, and 60 times objectives in place. Moving up the scope, we have the beam splitter for the trinocular system. When the lever is in, it delivers 100% of the light to the oculars. When the lever is out, 20% of the light goes to the eyepieces, and the remaining 80% goes to the camera port. Finally, the eyepieces are 20 millimeter and mounted on a seed and top mechanism. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Thank you very much for watching.